music world music kids out there i am back for another review you thought i was gone did you know I, i'm trying to break in as many videos as i can in a day um but anyways this album review is gonna be um about little bibby um in his previous um records and then the one that was dropped this year including the single feature and ti so let's get into it all right, so yes, Lil Bibby's album, Big Bucks, that was released October 14th, if I'm correct with that uh, date. Um, and it has nine tracks on here. Um, no, eight, excuse me. I don't have a top five for this either because I enjoyed the whole album. I know that's weird, you know, because people look at chicks and be like, oh, you just listen to him because he's cute or people really think like it's so sexist how people um when I talk to whether it's on social media or in person just talking to uh dudes and chicks or whatever it's all everybody always do that whole oh it's because he's cute you like him I'm like really like why why I can't just love music why I can't just love how people tell their stories through their albums and that's what he did that's why I said I can't really say I have a top five, but there are songs featured on here that I really enjoy um, listening to. Um, can't Trust the So. I'm feeling that right now. So The Trenches, that's featuring Lil Durk. Um, and of course, his single that was um, re released last year, I don't care. I still play it. T.I. Boy, who? I still be bumping it in my car on the way to work. You know, I'm an A.M. I'm an a.m. morning person, you know, five something in the morning. Yes, I do to get me woke. I sure do um, listen to that single still. I don't care when it was released. That's how good. If your music's that good, oh, I don't care if it was released 2014. I could be playing it today, like, if it's of good quality. And obviously, that song is because I like it. But um, anyways... So with Lil Bibby, the artist, I know people, you know, they done seen his little interview where he talking about the situation that he wouldn't snitch or tell if something, um, hypothetically, the interviewer were, was hypothetically speaking and saying basically if he killed his mother in front of him or something, he wouldn't do nothing. And then he said, no, no, I don't F with the police. But how I took it was... He comes from the shot town. Like, he comes from Chicago. He knows how the streets work. Um, and I think he said what he said, because, uh, duh, it's an interview. Like, he really, you really think somebody gonna be on camera and tell, tell you what kind of crime they would commit or something like that. So, I don't know. Hopefully, he was being, you know, sarcastic and was it really... You know, I I, I want to believe that he just said what he said just to kind of, you know, not tell on himself, basically. But um, anyways, uh, so back to him being an artist, I saw some interviews of his. And what gets to me is when people interview artists like Lil Bibby, Lil Durk, um, people who come from um like rougher environments cities and the interviewers always ask them you know why do you think there's so much violence and you know what can you do what do you think we can do to you know what do we need to do besides come together you know what needs to be done and i'm like these guys like probably from the time they was old enough to walk and talk done witness everything that somebody their age is not supposed to be going through um so when people ask questions like that I, and don't get don't get me wrong I'm not about to sit up here and act like I know what it means to walk outside your door every day in those type of environments and gotta say I, my I love yous to people if they're around because I don't know if I'm gonna be coming home I ain't about to act like I know how that feels. Um, but for to me, when I watch interviews like that and people ask those questions to them, I'm like, what do you... I don't know what y'all want them to say because they lived it, they've been in it, and I'm pretty sure they, they see and know what could be done, but 
it's kind of like it's falling on deaf ears. Like nobody, nobody cares. I mean, I'm pretty. There's plenty of people um, in the within the city. Of course, it's not going to be played out on media that care about what's going on um, there, and they they done programs and um especially BT they even um awarded uh two gentlemen they awarded a, a few people um from Chicago that has their own schools and um they're doing teaching kids how to develop and eat healthy and plant their own foods and vegetables. Um duh. Anyways, again with the interviews and them asking them questions, I just be wondering what like little baby or somebody be thinking when they get asked that because it's like what do you want them <laughs> like they know but I think people because of who they are and they're seen as celebrities they have money so everybody's like okay so what you gonna do like what you gonna do we need you to you know what's the idea what's the plan and it's it's the point that yes they should be answering those questions and speaking on it because they have a voice. Young kids look up to them, um, but one person can't do it alone. Same thing with Barack Obama, who's from there, President Barack Obama, who's from there. People say he ain't done nothing for black folks and this and that and the third. And he has helped. He has passed out, passed laws and and what people need to realize, he can't do everything on his own. He even said that when he came into, um, when he was elected president, he even said that I can't, I'm gonna need your help. I can't do this by myself. Mayor or whoever send him like laws that you want to have passed, but it's not, he don't, he don't get to sign that and be like, okay, yeah, we can do that. No, he has to go to Congress and be like, look, these people have this going on. This is the situation. This is what they want to do to resolve that situation. Help me out. And Congress is going to be like, nah, we ain't trying to spend no money there. We ain't trying to do it. So, and then nothing happens. So you can't blame him for, and people say, once it gets out of office, we're going to, you know, he's going to start getting his hands dirty and going, you know, into Chicago or whatever, helping those people out. But anyways, I done got sidetracked. Um, back to little Bibby, but I was just basically stating that I, I, I would just be wondering what he'd be thinking when he gets asked that question. Because it's like, what do you want? Y'all keep asking these questions to them. And it's kind of like they know what's going on, but it's like they don't, you know, they done live that life. So they they can tell you what can be done and why they may feel, you know, people killing each other and stuff like that and they have answered the question but it's like you know what do you want them to do like they they one person yes they have a voice but they one person and if we won't change like everybody's been saying everybody has to come together and do it together i just think it's it's just incredible and crazy how um young dudes like him that come not just chicago but other cities that um, have environments like that and they come up out it and their mentality is of like a 40 year old like they really when you listen to them in interviews how they um, present themselves is very like a mature they're very mature for their age um, I can't say I have a top five because like I said when I listen to albums I listen to hear a story especially if it's my first time listening to you. I listen to see what you're talking about, if you're even talking about something. Um, which, with him, I was surprised because he's people kind of put him in that category of, you know, at turn up music and they always talk about killing and shooting and all that stuff. Um, but I'm, I'm here to hear people out. I don't care who you are, if you're famous, an artist, or just a regular nine to five person like myself, I'm I'm not. Who am I to judge you on your life and you know what you've gone through? Who am I to do that? Because I don't know. I don't. I can't put myself in your shoes. That's that's your situation. Um, all I can do is listen and and try to understand um, what you've gone through. So I think that's why 
um, with this album. I can't, I don't want to do no top five because his whole album is dope. He's just giving him, giving us more, you know, of what he's gone through, um, in his life. So I can definitely appreciate an artist like that because sometimes when he's artists releasing artists, um, release these tracks and it's just all about I'm a shooter, and uh, it's always hype, and, and it, you know, and there's no, there's no lyricism in there, there's no story or nothing, it's just a bunch of nonsense being played on an album, and yet it's on the radio, and I'm like, how? Because you're not even, I can't even follow what you're talking about, like, because I don't even know what you're talking about, because you ain't saying nothing, but with Lil Bibby, like, you getting, you getting his story, you, um, you're hearing what he's going through, and what he's been through in life, so I can definitely appreciate, um, artists like that, but like always, I appreciate you for uh, stopping by, checking out my videos, like, comment, subscribe, hopefully y'all subscribe, if not, like I always say, it's cool, like, you know, I'm still put out videos. But anyways, love and peace. Let's love more. Let's hate. And I'll holler at y'all later.